Hello, my name is Mark Searle. I'm CEO of Kinamic Data Integrity. What you're going to see in a few minutes is a presentation I did in Pamplona on the 8th of November. Uh, for Americans, Pamplona just means bulls running in streets. We did not see any bulls, but we uh, had a great time at the Eurocon uh, Venture Contest semifinal, and I hope you enjoy the presentation. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Mark Searle. Yeah, I'm CEO of Kinamic Data Integrity. We are an enterprise software company in the data security space. Uh, what sets us apart from the data integrity world is that uh, we ensure data integrity around the system in real time at the specific level, granular level of individual records. We enable our users to meet regulatory requirements to uh, allow their data to be used in court cases um, with uh, evidential weight and also, of course, to detect uh, actual data manipulation uh, in their enterprise from insiders or outsiders. I want to note on the first slide that our technology is applicable to a wide variety of data sources. It doesn't have to be log data. Uh, most of our early cases are live trail data, which is log data, but we're also applicable to, for example, digital video surveillance data or mobile call detail records. Let me start here by giving you some examples of problems we've seen out in the real world. Uh, the first one is banking. Earlier this year, one of uh, Spain's major banks there was a breach. Uh, in response to the security breach, their security team informed uh, the investigators that we logged the team, uh, every action in the account so we can prove that these actions were uh, not fraudulent activities. Um, then on further challenge, they said, well, these logs could be altered or changed by someone with system administrator access, meaning essentially that the insider threat is not a risk. With dynamic data integrity's product, we would know that the data had not been manipulated security we have uh, tamper evidence data for the moment. Right? If you look at the world of cloud computing, particularly as I say, in highly regulated markets, uh, adoption of cloud computing and all the benefits that accrue from the use of the cloud uh, has been slow, particularly in highly regulated markets like government agencies, financial services, telecommunications, and healthcare, uh, because we have an addition from lawyers who see the bottom that says we should make certain that our cloud providers can ensure authenticity and reliability of data. When that's not the event, we're not able to adopt the problem. Another just broad based set of uh, problem, and I point to the fact that if you look at the Web Application Hackers Handbook, uh, Chapter 11, Example 5, Inside the Hackers Handbook shows you how to erase an audit trail. This simply shows you that it has become commonplace after you hack into the system and manipulate things inside the system to go back and cover your trails. It's the standard practice today. Uh, so that's the problem, what's the solution? Well, the Kinamic solution is a beautiful audit data. Uh, there is a gentleman at IBM named Jeff Jonas, who's a distinguished scientist, uh, who said, and he wrote about us, I hope and think that tamper and audits will become commonplace. He goes on to say all the industries will really require government agencies, healthcare, and so on. And then I love the phrase, stumble onto a software company. Typical American style, he was surprised that there was a software company in Spain. Uh, he discovered us and said, good news, I found a company are called Kinetic, dedicating itself to solve this problem. So what are the benefits? Well, as I said on my first slide, to capture the data in real time, uh, meaning there's no window of opportunity between the data creation uh, and the point in which it's occurred. Secondly, we chain the records together so we know the sequence in which those records came and record that. Uh, and of course, we have a recording interface that you can use ours uh, both into our product or even the standard field tools. Uh, a quick overview of how our technology is disruptive relative to everybody else. We do have patents issued. Uh, there was an analysis done by a boutique uh, analyst firm called Securus in the United States, uh, which has said there are two distinct advantages to our uh, method. One is the mathematical certainty that the contents of the data cannot be altered, combined with the chaining of the data, which maintains the sequence of events in the field, which is the unchangeable sequence of events. Um, obviously, uh, I think in this morning's uh, keynote, if you saw, you said stay away from these slides that where your boxes are all checked and other people's are fine. Uh, I don't have companies up there have alternative technologies. The point being, uh, there is nobody else in the market today who's providing a real time and granular uh, data generation. So that's nice. We have patented technology that's different from anything else out there. You have to ask yourself, who cares, right? <laughs> So I have already alluded to the fact that highly regulated industries are the people who care, so let's name some highly
value to go into the streets. We've got telecommunications, we've got healthcare, we've got financial services, we've got government agencies. Uh, those are a wide set. Um, we can't focus on all of those as a Series A startup. So we've selected two key target markets uh, for our urban sales. One is financial services, and the other is generally uh, law enforcement and, and government agencies. Uh, so that's nice. We focus with people who care. I said we have a different sort of technology, and these people care. Now we have a problem because we are very small, and every company in these categories is very large. So how can we reach them? Well, the answer we hit upon is to really focus on uh, development channels very quickly in our industry. Uh, aggressive pursuit of system integrator channels and OEM partners. So really integrating our technology into other software vendors as an OEM product where most people are selling into these categories or addressing system integrators who are putting together packages and solutions for those, uh, those industries. Uh, as examples, we've signed a number of distribution partners as well as customers in the government financial services area as well as some along the OEM line uh, companies where they are selling to both of those categories uh, with security offerings. And I'll give you some examples. So it's fine to say we're going to develop, we're going to develop channels and we're going to have partners who take us to market, but here's an example of a system integrator and how we go to market with a system integrator. The slide on the screen is a screenshot just taken from an online video uh, done by Accenture of their cybersecurity offering. It lists their best of breed, as they call it, technology, including us along with a number of our big companies. Uh, let me look at, uh, there's a lot of information on the slide about three different OEM categories we've identified. Let me just call your attention to the top line, which is three categories of software products selling into financial services and government. The middle row where Gartner says every one of these categories is very large and growing. In the bottom row, where we have just in the last 12 months or 10 months even, heard from people in these categories how important the data integrity piece is becoming and that it's new. In the last 18 months we've heard this, we've gone in the last year from hearing this zero times from hearing it before you just this call. Just quickly, the team we put together, my name is Mark Sorrell, I'm CEO. I founded a company called Sensage in the security space for the pioneers of security information management. Uh, we're in two different uh, companies that uh, have activities on the NASDAQ. Gary Lefkowitz has 20 plus years in information security management, starting in tandem, going through, uh, actually starting in Formix, working in tandem, and come back to HP, where he ran enterprise storage uh, and security. All your all we ran sales and business development at ATG through its IPO on NASDAQ. Carlos Saona is our, uh, our uh, technology VP, uh, Spanish uh, national, uh, with a uh, PhD in computer science. So, quickly, my summary. Uh, I feel we really have an exceptional foundation here. We have an outstanding team in place, proven path to differentiate technology. We've got venture that from leading to our now to capital out of Barcelona. Uh, and we're building our distribution sales now. Uh, we're still delivering and seeking acceleration, having to get acceleration, quite simply, we continue to build out our channel partnerships, and we are going to be uh, looking for additional financing here uh, in 2011 to assist in the team development and growth as well as channel development. Um, and we want some nice awards and accolades, including most recently under the radar, out in California, uh, where we were in So thank you for your attention.